James. I almost didn't recognize you. I'm sorry, have we met before? I think once, something in England. Nicole Hunter. My friends call me Nikki. Nicole Hunter. You're the jewelry designer. I've been called worse. It girl, socialite. It's nice to see you, Nicole. I'm sure you've got a plane to catch. Actually, M sent me. Interesting cover. But not an unpleasant surprise. Should we go? The car's over there. Nice car. It's a friend's. Would you like to drive? I feel much safer with a man behind the wheel. So what can you tell me about Pomerov? Ugh, oh, he's such a lech. But he's kind of sweet for your basic Russian oligarch. He owns oil wells, diamond mines, and his own 737 with gold-plated fittings, of course. How do you know him? Sweetie. There are only six people worth dating in the world, and I've probably gone out with half of them. Turn here. Okay. The truth is, he supplies the chemicals used to alloy the gold and silver in my line of jewellery. And he's been after me to open a boutique in the casino he just bought in Monaco. He bought the casino? Mm-hmm. Another trinket on the must-have list for oligarchs. After a supermodel wife. So, I got him to delay his flight back to Siberia. That's why he keeps the wife at his headquarters, so she can't spend all his money. And we're going to meet in the boardroom, which should give you enough time to get into his office and break into his safe. Well done. So how did you... End up in bed with MI6? Well, that's one way of putting it. Darling, it's the perfect cover. Fashion shows, photo shoots, store openings. I get to travel the whole world, and nobody pays any attention. Emma approached you? Not exactly. Well, how not exactly? Well... There was this little tax problem a few years ago. A little tax problem? And a small customs problem involving some diamonds. So that's how a girl from the society pages ends up working for MI6? Yes, James. But believe me, when necessary, I can be very discreet. You can drop me off in front of the casino. I'm going to put on my war paint before the meeting. I'll text you on the cell phone to let you know when we're almost finished. I love this park. It's so peaceful at night. It's such a nice way to end up with her. This is just the perfect place to watch the fireworks. All right, James, I'm in. Pomrov's coming down to meet me. Good, I'm heading through the gardens now. Turn on your tracker. I'll home in on your signal. Hang on. Okay, it's on. Right. Now make sure you keep Pomerov busy. If he sees anything unusual, he'll lock down the casino. Understand? Don't worry, James. I know how to handle a man like Pomerov. <laughs> Bravo, team. What's your 20? This is Bravo. Position at Sector 14B. over this area. You know what National Day is like. There's always some drunk tourist who tries to... Someone there!
James. James, Pomerov's still not here. What should I do if he doesn't show up? Stick to the plan, Nicole. Stay calm. You may just be late. It's critical that you make this work. Okay. I'll do my best. I've got to go. Come in, Bravo. Request update. Bravo team. We have finished sweep of Area 12. Nothing to report. Turn for Bravo. Move to Sector 3F and initiate patrols. Understood. Bravo is moving to 3F. What was that? Right, I'm gonna finish my smoke, then I'm on a break. Don't work too hard. You get eyes on the boss's business associate? Something's there. It's on loan, shall we say. Double O seven, you're going to need a key code to get past this door. It appears the code has been divided between three different guards in the casino. Each one has only a small piece of it. I'm marking their locations on your smartphone now. Scan their access cards to compile the full code and access the lift.
One down, 007. That's another one, Bond. They just said to watch the room. You know, it must be some big names if they want us to stand guard like this. I heard Pomerov himself is playing. And you know what he's like about his price. Ah, that would be it. Shoot him! That's it, 007. You've got all the data necessary to access Pomerov's lift. You should know, dear Stephanie. You can't hit a jackpot without putting down a few chips. No risk, no risk. What's this? What was the nature of this research? I told you. We were investigating anthrax and smallpox to come up with antidotes that could be used in the field in the case of a biological attack. And there was no way to militarize them? To turn them into weapons instead of cures? No. No? So why are these documents in code? I told you. I was working at home. What is the password for the USB drive? Tell me the key to crack the code! Stop! Stop! I'll tell you. Thank you. Get them out of here! A 
Значит, сидер! Сидер! See if I can tip the odds in our favor. I've got the car in front of the casino. Where are you? I'm on my way. Get ready to move.
Here, see if this is dry enough for you. What are you drinking? Same thing, straight. I was never one for girly drinks. Bond, are you there? Yes, Em. Right here. Nicole, do you mind if 007 and I speak privately for a moment? This is a need to know. Of course. No problem. We can talk. What did you find out? We've translated all the documents you photographed in Pomarov's office this afternoon. It appears that most of them were invoices for highly sophisticated chemical manufacturing equipment. They were to be delivered to a defunct chemical refinery he's recently brought back online in Siberia. Makes perfect sense. They tortured Tedworth, the researcher, for the code to his bio-research formulas. He was working on anthrax and smallpox antidotes for troops in the field, but they could just as easily be weaponized. That's what we're afraid of. No, that's what the whole world is afraid of. You've got to get there. Confirm what we think he's up to and stop him. Perhaps Miss Hunter can help you facilitate this. Yes, I'll talk to her. Good. Good luck, 007. You finished? I have to take a look at Pomarov's refinery in Siberia. Em thought you might be able to help facilitate things. I'm gonna need a flight, ground transportation, a local contact. And... Wait, wait, not so fast. I told Pomarov I'd get back to him about his business proposal. So it's the perfect cover to get the two of us into the refinery. The two of us? Em said facilitate, not the company. Well, how do you think I'm going to get you to Siberia? Oh, let me guess. A friend of yours owns a plane? May I speak with Rudolph, please? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> You're going to love it. It's got a shower, a wine cellar, and the most unbelievable circular bed. Yes, I'll hold. What? What's that look for? You'll be enjoying all that stuff alone. I'll be in the cockpit flying the plane. <laughs>